What's going on everyone? I'm Tao and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu 20.10 in five minutes. Let's get into the video. Alright guys, so now that we are on the computer, first thing we'll go is go to Ubuntu.com, go to download and click 20.10. Then we'll go to Rufus.ie, scroll down and click download. Now once you've downloaded everything, select your USB stick, then click select, and select your ISO file. We'll click start, and we'll click right in ISO image mode. Then you'll insert your USB stick into your computer, press usually F12, sometimes it's a different key, sometimes it's also the escape key, and boot into your USB install media. Then we'll click install Ubuntu. I'm doing this in the Hyper-V VM, which is why it's a little laggy and pretty small, just because it's easier for me to record that. I don't have the actual capture card, so I can record me actually loading it on my machine. We'll select English language, and we'll click install third-party tools, erase disk, and install Ubuntu, and install now. Select our time zone and then put in our name. Put in a password. There we go, now it will install. Now that you're booted in to your new installation, you can just put in your password. And we have and about to installation. You can just skip through all of this, except I would recommend turning off this if you're concerned about your privacy. Click done, and now you have a fully functioning Ubuntu installation. Probably looks a bit better than this as it probably fills your whole monitor up, but I'm using Hyper-V for reasons I've already stated to show you this tutorial. After you are done, I would recommend going to the terminal and running sudo apt update then sudo apt upgrade this updates your system and makes sure that all the patches are completely updated there's other ways to do this in Ubuntu they have a graphical interface for this but I personally prefer having the command line to be able to do this. Now, you can also go to the Ubuntu software store to install any packages that you might want. However, you can also install those via the terminal with sudo apt install or sudo snap install, as Ubuntu pretty much installs everything via snap packages, which is a more proprietary, proprietary way of distributing the packages that they do have. I don't really like that move by them, but that's what they've chosen to do as a distribution so it's up to you whether you want to use them or not because of that all right everyone so that's it for today's video if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this this is the second episode of my switching to linux series third episode should be coming out in just a couple of days so stay tuned for that and make sure you turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified when that episode comes out also sorry about the bad video quality for the screen capture i'm not sure what was up with my webcam it just decided to be super blurry today Really weird, I'll have to investigate into that so the next video is better quality. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.